reason why I ruled what I And number one, came down to Dimash and Arashi. Did the party starters leapfrog in these final moments? They did not. They end the show at number two. Dimash reigns supreme at number one. And uh, and thank you to the Deers. And also and uh, just an amazing showing for you guys. And uh, I've seen what you guys are doing, by the way, on uh, on uh, the Deers really championed this tonight on uh, Instagram, which is the uh, hashtag we love you, Kevin. I think I hope I'm saying that right. How awful would that be if I don't even get my own hashtag right? But that's very kind. And uh you know, not to bring the room down, but I, you know, something, uh, you know, I guess let me, I just wanted to say some things here before we, uh, we get going. Um, we're going to play your most requested double play in a second. And, uh, I think what I want to say before I get into anything is, you know, these music shows, if you really pay attention, they don't, they don't tend to last that long, you know, there'll be new ones popping up all the time. And, and this show, the Friday live stream, has uh, probably lasted longer, not to speak for anyone behind the scenes, but probably longer than any of us uh, imagined. It started as this, uh, you know, quarantine project uh, experiment, if you will. And uh, it obviously blossomed and metamorphosized into uh, this, you know, I would say institution here at MTV and something that we look forward to behind the scenes. And of course you do as a, our viewing audience every week. And, uh, you know, the first couple of times we had some nice views. Why don't we was teased on the show. Um, you know, some of those early bookings of little mix or, you know, what have you. And, uh, and it was really nice and exciting. And then it, we started to not have big names on the show some weeks and you guys still showed up and it became, Oh, obvious to us that you were showing up for the show and you were showing up for us. And I think that the real success of this show is the family aspect of the show. Um, the loyalty of the show to come and, 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 and tune in every week, no matter who's on the show. And you guys do in the thousands in the tens of thousands over the 24 hours. And, uh, that lesson of family was never more prevalent than this week when, uh, you know, we do the show from my house, and uh, the unofficial co-host of the show was my dog, Banjo. And uh, we lost Banjo. I lost Banjo. Banjo passed away on Saturday. And uh, it was a really, uh, uh, it, it was just, I felt so alone. Uh, he was my family. I don't have a big family, so Banjo was my family. And, uh, you know, I, I put out the news on Twitter and I tweeted it out. And, uh, you know, some of the people behind the scenes here um, were some of the first people I heard from you know, in the world. And that just meant so much to me. And I know we joke, you know, we joke uh, throughout the show, but these people do, you know, producer Katie, producer Clay, David, even Booker Mike, uh, director Dan and, uh, and Nisa. I mean, these are really uh, some of the first people I heard from. And it's just, it, it just made me feel so much less alone hearing from them and then seeing the outpouring of messages from you on, uh, on social media was really nice. And I know I'm going long. I'll wrap this up, but uh, it's just to say that uh, it was really a beautiful thing. And some of you guys drew pictures of Banjo and, and painted paintings of Banjo. And uh, the artwork is really moving. And uh, yeah, it was just really nice. And it reminded me, you know, people do this sort of thing, this hosting thing for all sorts of different reasons. Um, I wanted to do it to build a community. I love community. I love music. I love people. And uh, I just wanted to thank you for giving me that community, both you guys behind the scenes and then also you who tune in each week here at MTV. And uh, I'm just so happy that I got to share banjo with you um, because we got to share in this and you got to be there for me. So uh, one of the last things I ever said to banjo was that I would never stop talking about him and uh, <laughs> without crying on the FLS because I would look ridiculous crying on the Friday live stream. Um, I want to be a man of my word and say, I love you, Banjo. Raise a glass to uh, good old Banj. Thank you guys for the love and support. And uh, thank you, MTV, for actually, uh, we're going to play a little tribute to Banjo. Um, so I just want to thank you guys for uh, risking retaliation for the Rolling Stones <laughs> and hoping we don't wind up like the verb. <laughs> Here's a, a tribute to Banj, and then it'll be followed by the uh, most requested double play. But thank you guys and love you, Banj. I'm coming home.
I'm coming home.